Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGod21, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2! In the last episode, we had to deal with a bunch of crazy mages. Two of them were blood mages, one of them was an idiot, and we had to deal with Anders by collecting ingredients for a potion that's supposed to separate him from justice. But at this point, I think it's less of a potion and more of a bomb. Anyway. Today, we need to go talk to Anders in his clinic and basically tell Meredith that we did a good job. Essentially. Alright then, let's go... Talk to the Knight Commander. The only reason why I bring Anders with me is because he is the party's designated healer. Which makes him essential. God damn it. Oh well. Yeah, I think at this point we can just bump Emerson's health. Ability points. St Spear Flux stun. Okay. Do, 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 do. Plus, I need to actually get the main quest on the road to gain access to Meryl's companion quest. Which I think is almost the last one. Hmm. I'm pretty sure after we finish this, they open up, but, uh... Meredith! I'm led to believe that both Huon and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancé, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? No, he's an idiot. He told people he was a blood mage to get girls. Lock him up and you'll be fine. <laughs> Very well. Emil will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. Goodbye, the Tempest called us glad I could help. I'm pleased to have played a part in keeping the city safe. Wait. That's it? Pay us and send us on our way. Not a single thought given to the fact that you Templars brought all of this upon yourselves. Yes, the mages had nothing to do with it. So the Templars are absolved of all responsibility? You can't be that big an idiot. You think their crimes will allow anyone to trust you more? Be very careful, mage. Your friendship with the champion protects you only so much. Uh, Anders? I hate to tell you this, but we're in the middle of the Templar stronghold. I can only do so much here. Relax. This is not the time, Anders. If not now, when? We do what we think is best for this city, mage. That is all we can do. I bid you good day, champion. Ah, small problem. Oh, Joy. Now oh, we gotta speak to Varric too. Nothing from the uh, person chanter yet. That's annoying. Okay, I guess we go see Varric and Anders now. Wait, did I even get paid for this? I don't think I got paid. Or I uh, got some random... Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, I need to sell stuff anyway. So... I... Oh my, shut up! Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I have a bunch of white stuff I don't need. Do I need the whaler? I don't think I need the whaler. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need the whaler. I don't need all this armor. Get rid of these white accessories that I don't need. 
Oh, I have a silver wood ring that I can give to Meryl. Okay, well that gave me a good amount of coin. It held an enchantment just yesterday. Hmm. I think I know what Varric's going to ask me about, considering that we left Bartrand alive. It's probably going to be about him. But first things first, Anders, you want to talk? Come on, you son of a bitch. There is one more thing I would ask of you, Hawk. And I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. And you think I, you wonder why I had suspicions about a bomb? What are you plotting? You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. What do you want me to talk about? Food? The weather? What does it matter? No, talk of mages. Give her one final chance to hear what we have suffered. To pick a side. Perhaps she'll be more inclined to listen to you. This sounds suspicious. What is it you don't want me to see? I would not tell you my plans, Hawk. You have made it plain where your sympathies lie. I will ask you straight then. Has nothing you've seen changed your mind? Will you help me free the mages of Kirkwall? Or will you stay at the side of the Night Tyrant? Was this ever about you and justice? Or have you lied this whole time? I lied. There is no potion. But what we have gathered will bring freedom for more than just me and justice. It will help mages throughout Fadus. In the face of that, one lie means little. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, the thing is, I should say, fuck no. I really shouldn't. But no matter what I do, it ha the event happens anyway, so I'll say fine. What do you need me to do? You surprise me again, Hawk. I'm glad these years spent ranting haven't been in vain. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. Oh. Sure. Okay. Well, Fenris didn't like that. Like I said, I should have clicked no, but no matter what option I pick, whatever happens, hap what happens, happens. I can't stop it. Which is unfortunate. Because what Anders is about to do is do something that is completely fucking stupid. And pointless in the long run, anyway. Uh, oh, Hawk Estate. Good to see you again, sir. I've got letters. Another message. From the desk of the Night Commander. Uh, express aggressive sir surrendered. Oh, now I get paid. I'm trying to do the right thing. The boy not recognize it, but he probably saved his life. Ooh, we got paid for a meal. Champion Hawk, it took great courage the day for you to speak openly against our Knight Commander. You may have my support and action you take. I hope I have yours as well, for there's a situation in the circle I wish that you could assist me with. Please meet me in the gallows. Meredith has confined my mages to their cells and forbid me from traveling further than the courtyard. I appreciate your service and discretion. Oh, we get a letter from Cullen. Champion Garrett Hawk, as a courtesy for your past service, be aware that I received complaints about your frequent companion, Guard Captain Adeline. She is accused of calling her men and weakening law enforcement in this crucial time. In the absence of a Viscount, I am called to vacate her position and assume her authority, but I would rather not have that headache. Please, speak to her about these claims, as Champion, your word can decide this matter and save the career of a good woman, Knight Captain Cullen. Nice to see Cullen's got a good head on his shoulders. Hey, ten gold. Oh boy, now we have to deal with everything else going on. To the Chantry! I'll find you as soon as I'm done. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna go over terribly. Why are you still here, Varric? Starkhaven's too pretentious for me and Cumberland's too boring. You always say you hate commitment, but here you are, six years later, still at Hawk's side. Dabbly, I thought you'd have noticed by now. I lie a lot. 
Yeah. Plus, Varric's her best friend. Friend. So. Don't worry, Aveline. He's fine. Do -do -do. Give you some more magic resistance. It's always a good thing. Now, where's the Grand Cleric? There you are. Maker's Blessing Champion. Have you come to pray? Actually, no. So, hypothetically, if there were a group of people being brutally subjugated by another, wouldn't the Maker favor the oppressed? You speak of mages. It's no secret that you count apostates among your friends, Champion. You have done much to fan the flames of rebellion here. We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. The mages need your help? Why not? So you support Templars. Why not? Couldn't you solve this problem if you just spoke out? How would that help? Both sides make good points. Both have flaws. At some point, right must be decided. For a thousand years, the Chantry has had to find the balance between them. That hasn't changed here. <sighs> Gotta love the... One person that actually stands by Chantry Doctrine. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, you won't budge on this one. Templars it is. That's not what I'm saying. I do not support the Knight Commander's methods. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. <sighs> oh, sure, you fast travel me here. I see how it is. I cannot tell you how good it feels for a spirit to fulfill its function. The waiting is over. I am finally seeking justice. And he is exultant. There is no ecstasy humankind can feel to match. Nice outfit change there, Anders. Are you going to tell me what you did? You are Kirkwall's champion. You can better aid our cause in that role than by aligning yourself with me too closely here. Oh, this just gets worse and worse. Every time you refuse to tell me, I have to imagine something crazier. This isn't a fight for sane men. The war will happen. The clock is ticking down. It will be midnight soon. <laughs> Renegade, yeah. Uh, Anders now has a different outfit. It's colored black! Oh, hey, I gained a little bit of Anders' friendship in the last time. Good on me, I guess. Do you feel like a citizen, Fenris? Excuse me? You've been in Kirkwall as long as I have. Does it feel like home? I have no comparison, really. It feels like a free place. Maybe that's enough. We shall see. I never have those two talk enough. Oh, now we can talk to Meryl. Okay, let's go... Actually, probably a good idea to go talk to go tell Aveline the bad news about her job. I wonder if this will result with me getting punched in the face. How are you at Finale's, Varric? I'm expecting some practical experience. Back to the barracks. I make it a good one, will you? For you, madam, endless sunsets and roses. Varric. And the swift hand of the law sweeping all aside. I thought it went unsaid. You have no Viscount. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. 
wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Trouble? Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just out of hand. Well... Oh boy. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Any one of these could get me punched in the face here, and Avalon's pissed off enough as it is. So... Rip the band-aid right off, apparently, is the best medicine. I hope. Knight Captain Cullen has heard some troubling things. Such as? That you coddle the men. Give special treatment. Someone has dared. Who? Who accuses me of this? That's for the latter is a true anonymous lies. No names given, of course. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him, or any in my command. You don't need to convince me- a stroll will be nice. Is this posturing necessary? Well, I could do with a breath of fresh air. Good. Because there's no way I would let this go. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Accuse me of being soft. Not in this lifetime. Ye- yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Hello again, champion. Gosman. Now I uh, have questions about who tops in bed now. <laughs> I don't know why, that just thought randomly peered in my head. It's like, I'm thinking, hmm, Avalink can be rather intimidating and in charge when she wants to be, which brought on the thought, who is topping who in the bedroom? I don't know why my mind goes that far. Meryl, let's go talk to you. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I need your help. The Alluvian won't work, which I'm sure is news that fills your heart with joy. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. What do you mean, it doesn't work? Well, look at it! Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. I wonder why. Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. What a good idea! You mean that there must be a better way here, Meryl? Come on! Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else must know something. The Alluvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. Think about, are you insane? You want to summon a demon that may possess you, then have me kill you. How is that a plan? Please do this for me. There's no one else I trust. You wanted to save me, didn't you? So save me from hurting anyone else. I'll do it. Absolutely not. Talk to the keeper. Talk to the keeper first, damn it. Go to Marathari. Maybe there's an alternative to summoning the demon. The keeper would never help me. Why do you think I had to find the demon in the first place? The whole clan has moved on by now anyway. You'll never find her. Oh, for fuck's sake. Meryl! I'm trying to help you, woman! But you won't let me! Uh. Alright then, uh... Oh yeah, we need to talk to Varric as well.
Got a minute, Hawk? I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. That could be tricky. Good luck, buyers will be thrilled. I assume there's not much interest in it. No. There's a really small number of people who want expensive, blood-covered houses in Hightown. I found a minor noble in Ravane who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is haunted. Oh, is that all? If they hadn't seen the place, I'd expect the first complaint to be about the corpses in the hall. I may have neglected to mention the mansion's a colorful past to the buyer. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartran brought back from the deep roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. Well, that's just simple enough. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. As long as it's not a zombie-infested mansion, we'll be golden, Barrack. Just need to make sure we don't get bit. Strange. I always thought I'd wind up arresting you someday. If I ever decide to get caught, Aveline, you'll be the guard I let catch me. Let catch you? Decide to get caught didn't trip you up, though. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Sir, do you really need to play word games with Aveline? It's liable to get you punched. And Aveline is a woman who can punch things really, really hard. Hang on a minute. Okay, well. Let's take care of Meryl's thing. First. That way I can get the final piece of my armor. Sundermount. And Meryl, the Dalish are still here. They haven't left in over six fucking years. You should have this back. Twine? When did I loan you a ball of twine? You gave it to me when I first moved here and I kept getting lost in low town. It drove the merchants in the market completely batty, but it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Oh, you never know. Might need to tie a package up, hang a lantern, dress a roast chicken. It's multi-purpose. Where would she get a roast chicken, Varric? <laughs> anyway, actually, now that I'm here, Meryl! I can do this. There you go. Crit chance, crit damage, and nature damage. Do, 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 do. Breath, no. Vanel, no. Veneril, iron parable. There's the keeper. Now let's talk, let's go see Master Island's shop just, just to make sure he doesn't have anything that I want to buy. Mainly because, well, if I screw up the dialogue options during Meryl's quest, we may be slaughtering all the elves here, which is never a good thing. Oof, excuse me. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Crafting is second, second to none, I assure you. Uh, Venerous? Why is your health bar lower than your stamina meter? Hello? You want to tell me why? 48, 98, 92. Yeah, you can keep the funky ass sword.
the attack. Stamina, physical damage. Let's do that. Yeah, Ferris's uh rings are fine. Can't help but feel that that's supposed to be swapped. Okay, for a second there, I thought the game was gonna crash on me. Don't do that! Keeper! Welcome home, darling. This isn't a homecoming, Keeper. Why is the clan even here? You should have moved on ages ago. The clan still has business here, Dalen. We will leave when it is time. It was time three years ago. You can't stay here. Eventually, the humans will force you to leave. There are plenty of hiding places in these mountains. We will stay until my business is done. If you are not returning to us, what has brought you back? Can you save possessed elves? <laughs> if one of the Dalish becomes an abomination, what do you do? If you are hoping the Dalish hold miracles, child, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. Even if the demon is driven out, the soul is left scarred. It can never recover, not truly. Like a wounded animal, it will fall prey to scavengers. The only cure is death. Uh, try talking some sense into her. Your first is going to summon a demon to get advice about her mirror. Did you really have to say it that way? I've already done everything in my power to stop this, and some things that were beyond my strength. I had rather hoped you might succeed where I failed. I'll do what I can to buy you time. Talk to her. Save her from this. Uh... Hello? I hate to say it, but my ancestors were not thinking clearly when they decided to bury people on top of a mountain. Could be worse. They could be buried in the mountain. Does I got anybody feel like... else get the feeling that this is going to end badly? Just me, huh? It's not all bad, Varric. Think of the stories you'll be able to tell later. Now, no offense, Daisy, but I could live without telling anyone we murdered you on some mountainside. It's a little hard to make that one sound good. Yeah, Varric, you're not the only one who thinks this is going to end badly. I know this will end badly. How badly it will end up, though... It's going to depend on me and my shit memory when it comes to dialogue choices. Oh, hey, spiders. Don't you hate it when the spiders don't spawn in properly even though they have zero HP? <laughs> okay. Moving on up. No, no, no. I need to be very careful that I don't miss the Philendris. Because that's the last thing I'm missing when it comes to my item crafting. Once I have that, I don't have to worry about finding shit. Oh, that's, although at this point it's kind of pointless to worry about it. Whatever, it's time for us to head to the top of the mountain. Which we've done several times already. And I've already been here through several times, so there's no point in me looking for other loot. Remember to upgrade your equipment! Thanks, game. Thanks. No, I just wanted to use the level 1 sword from the start of the game. I'm doing a challenge run, don't you know this? Oh, my stomach is full of butterflies. Not literally, mind you. Calm down, Meryl. Deep breaths. Methalanast. And the reason I'm bringing uh, Fenris instead of Anders is, well... I know what awaits us at the end of the cave. And the demon that Meryl's talking about. So I'm not going to risk it spawning in a shit ton of shades and Anders being basically fucking useless. Ah, nice to see that dragon corpse is still there. 
Who have brought these down to the in a cave on Sundermount was a good idea in the first place. Where would you have put him? To Vinter, maybe? Or in the Anderfells? Further away from Kirkwall, that's for sure. I would have buried him underground. Personally. But I think the idea was nobody would bother climbing up the mountain. It would also help if you did not, uh, you know... If you did not uh, have a path that led to where the demon is hiding? And this is why I decided not to bring Anders along. Oh boy. Okay, time to swap out the weapon. everything. Okay, nothing at all. Perfect. Okay, swap back. Okay, we're back in here. Let us see if I can find that stupid fucking flower. Of course, it's right beside the idol. Why does the idol have to be a monkey? Or a deformed Buddha. I'm taking this. We got the last flender last thing I need for crafting. Yay! No achievement. It's because I had to buy things from the Black Emporium, isn't it? Ah, that's great. Something is wrong. This is where the spirit was bound. But now it feels... empty. So much for that, yeah. I hope you had a plan B. We had to find it. Maybe it freed itself. It would have taken powerful magic to break him free of this prison. You couldn't just set him loose. Nobody could. Not without doing something terrible. This is very wrong. Who bound this demon here and why? There was a war long ago between my people and the Tevinter Imperium. After the Magister sunk Arlathan, my people made a last stand here, fighting on the graves of our elders. I've heard of this. A final vengeful strike. They unleashed chaos upon this mountain to teach our people that resistance was futile. I don't know if it was the Elvenan or Tevinta who bound the spirit, but he was left here from the war. Got all the camera didn't cut the fenders correctly. Awesome. So much for that, yeah, if you had to plant, plant, we have to find it. It couldn't have just vanished. We'll track it down. He shouldn't have been able to leave. What happened to him? I happened. Keeper. What have you done? The demon's plan was always for you to complete the mirror. It would have been a doorway out of this prison and into our world. You would have been his first victim. I couldn't let that happen, Dalen. Meryl safe that you could have said something so you banished the demon? He didn't think to mention that the demon was gone before we hiked all the way up here. It's not gone. I couldn't fight it in the Fade while it was trapped. And I couldn't banish it without making it stronger. So... I made myself its prison. Kill me, and it dies too. Meryl will finally be safe. No! 
You can't ask the... I won't do this. You always knew your blood magic had a price, Darlene. I have chosen to pay it for you. Dareth Sheriff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, we also got spirits. May the Dreadwolf hunt you for the rest of your days. I was trying to rebuild my life. Why did you have to come back and destroy it? Oh, great. Dead Dalish are here as well. Time to do some, uh, fucky bullshit. Hello, Paul. We're cursed, the whole clan. And you brought this upon us. You couldn't let go of the past, could you? Now look at what you've done. What have you done? Wait, damn what have you brought upon a clan, you monster? No, the mother. Turn back. Everything you touch turns to ash. You are a wound poisoning this clan. Adam Elder. Goodbye, you stupid ghost. How many of the words of the Lord's lips are all testament to your cleverness? Every one has fed me. Oh, aren't you special? Here's the thing, though, buddy. You're getting stunlocked to hell. Darlene, Keeper, you've beaten it, Darlene. You are so much stronger than I imagined. The demon is dead. Keeper, I... Let's leave this awful place. The clan should hear the good news. <laughs> nice try, asshole. You told us that the demon was bound to your life. It would only die with you. Irabalas, Keeper. <gasps> idiot and she'll scold me for not listening well you weren't listening exactly which part of don't talk to demons or awful things will happen did you fail to understand if there was a price to pay I should have paid it she had no right to interfere I don't think anybody wanted this not even the demon Marathari did what she had to why couldn't she have believed in me? I don't know what to do now. I... I should go to the clan. Someone needs to know, needs to come and... take care of her. 
Oh, for fuck's sakes, now what? Expected phone calls. Corpse. Lantern, empty quiver, touch of fallen din. Hollow horn buckles for Merrill. Wait a minute. One gold piece. Hang on a fucking minute here. Hold the fucking frog legs here. Do, 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 do. Wait a minute, I'm an idiot. I'm a s stupid idiot. I was looking up the Philendris, not the actual. God damn it. That's a different quest. Ah! I'm getting my quests mixed up and my rewards mixed up. That's never a good sign. Never mind, everything's all good. I get the last piece of my armor for the main quest. Oh, this will be interesting. We know the Keeper came here. What's going on? Where is she? Feneral. The Keeper. She. Look at her, Feneral. She's covered in blood. What have you done, Meryl? Keeper! Can you hear me? She's dead. I should have guessed you'd turn on her. You monster. Matter of fact, was possessed. Stand down, I'll take responsibility. Oh, shit. If I don't do this correctly, we're going to have to kill the entire clan, which is never a good thing, so... Marathari... Rip the band-aid off! Let's see if this will work. It's probably not going to work, and I'm going to have to slaughter a bunch of elves. The Keeper turned into a demon. We had no choice. There would have been no demon if it weren't for this little flat-eared bitch. We've suffered enough because of this traitor. It ends now. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like we're slaughtering an entire Dalish clan. Awesome! Fenris didn't like that we told him that Marathari was possessed, even though that doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, we got a fucking assassin. Oh, we got multiple daily assassins, that's good. Oh my, wow. Well, that just happened. All right. Where's the auto, where does the auto save put me? Oh, right outside. I should have guessed you'd turn on her, you monster. Okay, well, telling them that Marathari was possessed was no good, so I'll take responsibility then. This was a tragedy. I promise you, I'll make sure no one else is hurt by Meryl's blood magic. You expect us to take the word of a Shemlin? Stand down, Anaria. She was our first once. The Keeper loved her. More than she loved the clan, it seems. Feneral, I'm sorry. I never wanted this. If I could have saved her, if I could have died instead, I would have. Words are cheap. That you're still breathing says enough. Enough, Anaria. Human, take Meryl away from here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Apparently Fenris likes it when we take responsibility. Fair enough. 
Oh, now we get a fast travel option down the mountain. I see how it is. They'll never forgive me. If you weren't here, Hawk, they'd kill me. Yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here. Actually, before we do that, let's go visit the golem, see if he has anything worth buying. Okay, then. Well, I guess it is a good thing that I died during that encounter, otherwise I would have slaughtered my entire way down the mountain. Which is not something I would have uh, relished doing. Because I don't like slaughtering elves, unless they're... deserving of it. Because I am a proclamation... Proclamation? Proclamator of the elven supremacy. Because more often than not, in every single fucking fantasy universe in existence, with extreme uh, rarities, elves are just superior to humans in every single fucking way. Which includes their vanity, their destruction, and in the case of Warhammer 40,000, murder fucking a god into existence. That devours your entire species' soul upon death. Which forces you to build a device that stores your soul during when you die. That you have to carry on you at all times. Oh boy. The Eldar are fucked. <laughs> and then again, it's mostly their own damn fault, but still, they're fucked. Okay, uh, belt of woven elf hair. I think it actually I can buy both of these right now. Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay, let's replace this ring finally. Goodbye, phone star. I no longer require your services. Okay, the only thing that's DLC is my helmet, and that will be replaced. They're still here, but they should have left ages ago. What is the Keeper thinking? What if the Templars come, or an angry mob? This is madness! Uh, Meryl, you should've said that when we first got here. Oh, whatever you say, sweetie. Whatever you say. So, um... I don't remember if I need to go to my estate, or to Meryl's house to rec reconciliation oh, time. Returned. Everything's quiet here in the mansion. Oh, I bet it is. Uh, yeah, that work. Meryl's home. No, okay, we don't have to mention anything apparently. Aveline, Varric. Oh, we actually do need to talk to Meryl. El gone on six years in this place, and I still can't fix the holes in the roof. Apparently, Meryl needs to be in my party. Oh. Misclicked. Elgonon, six years. Excuse me? Speak to Meryl at her home in the little town's alien age. Fix the holes in the roof. I oh, do I need to actually go through the door? I probably need to go through her door. When you land a critical hit, the health bar flashes white. No shit. Hello? Hell gone on. Six years in this place, and I still okay. can't fix the holes in the roof. I'm a bit concerned. Well, okay then. That's a little weird. Well, I guess we'll ignore that for now. 
and we'll then uh, might as well go deal with uh, Varric's haunted house. I'm probably going to be fighting a bunch of ambushes on the way there, though. No, my luck. Of course it'd be a cross for Ferris. Why would it be? God damn it. Alright then. Bartrand's estate. What kind of bullshit are we going to get into this time? Bring on the Ooga Booga Warp shit. Okay. Hey, is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. I heard something ring. I like this less and less by the minute. Oh, are we in The Shining? <laughs> I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. Neat. Where is that voice coming from? What voice? Oh, that's not good. I can barely hear it. I wish I could make out the words. Not going to happen. You want me to? Okay, do we need the key for that door. I guess we gotta find a key. In about ten seconds, I'm just gonna smash everything in sight. We're getting closer. I can feel it, Hawk. What's on the ceiling? Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartran was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Hatuna River, which never sees the sun. Arr! That's unexpected. You're making this up. You want to push you around? He was that upset over a dish. I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Okay, well, thanks for the dagger, I guess. What's going on here? There's no way the veil could be torn this badly. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. I don't think it's in the house there, Varric. I think someone made it into an object which is very specific someone has in their possession right now. Oh, we're in the dining room. And there's nothing here for us to loot, so fuck you. Of course we can't go that way. Andraste's flaming knickers. Yeah, this is the shining. So, uh... When's Jack Nicholson going to pop out Max? Varric, is that what you've been hearing? No. Good. Then I'm not going crazy. Wonderful. Anything in here? A complex chest. Varric, do your stuff. And there was practically nothing in it. Thanks, I guess. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Calm down, Varric. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no. It's starting again. How 
lot of fucking... Okay. An ethereal golem, huh? Well, at least I'm doing full damage to it. I wish I could be doing more damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry about that. I wish I could be doing more damage right now. Oh, great. Shades. Time to switch. everywhere, you piece of shit. through the stairs. Okay. Apparently I can attack through solid objects. Good to know. You fucking real dumb bastard. Should be your last phase. of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. Like, go insane? I don't know about you, Varric, but I don't want to end up like Bartrand. I'm not my brother, Hawk. The idol drove him crazy, but this is just one tiny piece. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. And there we go again. This thing's magic seemed only more potent when broken. 
The Shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Uh, my mind told me no. But everything's saying yes. God damn it. I can't believe I'm saying this. If it means that much to you, keep the shard of craziness. No. This thing is cursed. It can bring nothing but madness. It's not your call, Blondie. Varric, I beg you, destroy this thing. I can't. I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. I've seen enough of this damnable house to last three lifetimes. Varric's armored leather duster. Now Varric is fully equipped. Ooh. Bianca has improved. I can now actually give Bianca some runes now. Excellent, which will make Varric all the more effective. Well, Anders hates us. Well, he's getting closer to it. Wait. Anders has a 50% magic resistance. Fair enough, I guess. And we're so close to a level up, too. But I'm out of time for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Dragon Age 2. In the next episode, we are going to... I guess talk to more companions. And help Avalanche deal with uh, allegations against her character. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you all next time.